Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's Space Cowboy here with another video for you guys here today. And in today's video, we have breaking news out of Dallas. We received the word of this news in the late evening on Saturday. And as we're going into Sunday, which is today as I'm recording this, and Daylight Savings is also today as well, Michael Gallup is officially on the trade block. And it looks like the Cowboys are trying to move off of his contract before March 17th when part of the contract becomes guaranteed. So we're going to go over an article discussing what's going on. And then we're going to further discuss what's happening. The Cowboys are trying to find ways to make things work with wide receiver Michael Gallup. A person with knowledge of the discussions told the Dallas Morning News that the Cowboys have given Gallup's agent Kevin Robinson permission to seek a trade. The Cowboys have been complimentary of Gallup this offseason, but if he's on the roster March 17th, $4 million of his $8.5 million base salary of 2024 will become guaranteed. Trading Gallup before then would have the trading team pick up the remaining three years of his contract. Calvin Watkins tweeted and also wrote this article discussing even further what's going on, and he also mentioned that teams have been reluctant to make a deal for Gallup, fearing he's going to be released. Keeping Gallup on the roster for the 2024 season would carry a $13.8 million cap hit and a $15.8 million cap hit for 2025 and 2026. If the Cowboys designate Gallup as a post-June 1st cut, they will get $9.5 million back in cap savings. We don't have a decision that we would like to talk about right now, Cowboys owner and general manager Jerry Jones said at the NFL scouting combine. It's one that we would be going over with him. Nothing we would say without him being involved. We need to sit down and go over stuff with him before we talk about what we're going to do with him. On Monday, NFL teams can begin contract talks with free agents. If no trade is reached for Gallup, releasing him before then would allow him to seek a new place of employment. Now, the Cowboys got under the salary cap by restructuring Zach Martin's contract, which opened $13 million, and the team seeks more room to extend the contracts of receiver C.D. Lamb and quarterback Dak Prescott. Last year, Gallup caught 34 passes for a career-low 418 yards with two touchdowns. He was surpassed on the depth chart by veteran Brandon Cooks. Without Gallup, the Cowboys would look at the rising Jalen Tolbert, who will enter his third season, and Jalen Brooks, a 2023 seventh-round pick. The Cowboys also have returner Cavante Turpin, who emerged in the passing game last season. So ladies and gentlemen, it's official. Gallup is no longer going to be here. It's just a matter of when and how it's done. And I don't think the Cowboys are going to manage to get a trade partner. Now, you could maybe get a fifth or sixth round pick for Gallup. I think that we also have to factor in that the team that's getting him is getting a guy that's basically a wide receiver three at best at this point. If he can heal wide receiver two... And look, I hate to bring this up again because we've talked about it at nauseum for the past two years now. But we have to bring it up again because of the nature of what is going on with Michael Gallup. The Cowboys elected to go with Michael Gallup on a brand new five-year deal coming off the ACL tear, especially with how late it was, and knowing that he has a history of healing very slowly, rather than just keeping Amari Cooper and CeeDee Lamb together, while Lamb was still on his rookie contract, and you let Amari Cooper go for the cheap, and for reference, for a fifth and a sixth round pick swap, which was the same compensation that was given up to get Jerry Judy, who I understand is in a contract year. I, I get it. But the Cowboys really fumbled the bag, and it really didn't help at all your season in 2022. In 2023, you had to make up for it by go getting Brandon Cooks, and thank God Jalen Tolbert starting to emerge as a viable option at wide receiver three, because if not, then you would have been in a situation where you basically have wide receiver one, wide receiver two, and then nobody's after that. And now you have Amari Cooper over in Cleveland putting up career numbers with the quarterback situation over there when you could have used him here while you've been trying to contend. And I'm not trying to say Amari's perfect. He has his issues. I get it. But I'm telling you, man, having a player like that is better than having what you had in Gallup, which was a wide receiver four that you were paying to be a wide receiver two. 
It's just this front office is so irritating, and now they're trying to play catch-up, and it's like, why on God's green earth would you say, hey, you know, we're going to try and trade you, you can go seek a trade, but odds are, you know, we're going to have to cut you because no one's going to get, like, who the fuck is going to give up a fifth, a sixth, or a seventh to go get Michael Gallup knowing the type of contract he's on? No team is going to do I would be shocked if a team gave up any pick for him. Like, there's no point. With Amari Cooper, when you traded him away, you at least saw the type of player he was. Michael Gallup, he's a shell of himself, man. He's damaged goods, and I hate to say that because I really wanted this guy to succeed, and, I mean, it's a business. You got to do what you got to do. So, I I just don't know what is next. I think that with this wide receiver core, you're set for now, but long-term... Assuming Brandon Cooks is gone after the following season because he's on the final year of his contract, you're really in a situation where you're looking down the barrel of 2025 being CeeDee Lamb, assuming you re-sign him, Jalen Tolbert is wide receiver too, which if he continues his trajectory, he'll be solid for you, and then a bunch of other guys, which, I mean, you can get away with that, but the Cowboys are going to have to put a draft pick or invest in wide receiver for the long term. And so it be- I don't think it becomes a primary need, but it becomes like one of those top secondary needs down the road. So that will be incorporated into our mock drafts as we get closer and closer to the draft. And I mean, the Cowboys are under the cap, but I doubt they're going to do crap with it because the only way they can really open up cap space more so to maneuver is either re-signing or restructuring Dak's deal or you just um, try to push some other buttons like Trevon Diggs contract and all that other stuff. But again, going back to the all-in thing, this is just like mind-numbing. I'm just absolutely pissed off with where we're at and I'm not going to yell and scream. And like I said, I'm only doing these as a reaction to what the front office is doing. I'm not going to talk about what they should do, you know, in terms of like, oh, maybe they should go after this guy. No, fuck that. They're not going to do anything unless they do it. So, I mean, this is the right move. I did say that we should do this, or this is a move that the Cowboys have to make. So I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, well, they really shouldn't. No, they, they have to do this. But my problem is, is that they really mismanaged their assets over the past couple years on this. Like, it is what it is. We can't change the past, but assuming that you just release Michael Gallup, this is going to be one of the worst trades or situations involving a trade and keeping a player in Cowboys history, maybe in NFL history. I don't know. I know that seems a bit harsh, but, dude, I don't know. This 2024 season right now, we're looking down the barrel of a cooked season. And I'm not trying to be super doom and gloom. I'm just trying to tell you how it is, man. Like, if they are not going to go out there, again, they don't need to get superstar talent. They just need to go out there and get guys that can plug in so that we don't go into the draft being like, man, we need to draft this position. Man, we need to draft this position. So, I don't know, man. This shit's whack. But tell me what you guys think down below. I think that this is a um, this is a crazy-ass situation given with what happened. But... I don't know. It is what it is. So tell me what you guys think down below about the whole situation. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one, guys. Goodbye.